decided not to do Zomboid today? Well, first off, because I really want to finish this game. No, this is the Tetris Brewing Potion game. Um, We're just finishing it up. We finished the main story and we're just trying to get to the end credits. But the reason I chose this rather than um, Project Zomboid today is because my voice is kind of dead and I'm not feeling 100%. And this game is a little more chill. And while, you know, I can pause Zomboid whenever I want, I kind of like lose track of myself really hard in it. And giant pinchers from the crabs. Okay. Um, when I lose track of like myself a bit i'm not paying attention to my body and yeah um i need a game that's a little more chill so i can keep track of how my body is feeling because i am a bit sick i was in bed almost all day yesterday oh suey also i need to get you a shout out growlcore hold on i don't think i have any mods in right now No, 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 I got it, Sue Boy, don't worry. No, I'm shouting out Growcore right now. No, I'm doing it. There, I did it, I beat you to it. Wait. Why does it, did I get unfollowed from you? Okay, that's so weird. It was like giving me the thing to follow you as well. Apparently, I it unfollowed you for me I don't know why <laughs> like it's not intentional I'm so sorry I don't know why it did that twitch man yeah cuz I I would have had no reason to unfollow Grokor you know they're super chill I think he him yes I know, but I followed all the hot potatoers every year. I go out of my way to follow all the hot potatoers. So I don't know why. Does it pop up if you already follow? Yeah. Yeah, it only pops up if you don't follow. Here's something I'd like to show you. Follow me. Fountain. Did you tell Mortal that? Fountain? Oh yeah, Mortal. Your tutorial was a real, real big help. I gotta say, you saved me so much time. You saved me so much time. Cause I had it like eighty percent right, but not quite there. <laughs> We just recently finished restoring the fountain. I had been wanting to restore it for so long. And you know who's urging me to fix it? Many of the villagers. They told me that we have to keep the town clean because of you. You've been playing an important role ever since we got here. And they want everyone, including you, to enjoy your stay here. Also, I am going to be playing slow because I'm drinking my hot tea that I just made. Because hot tea is very nice when you don't feel 100%. I have vanilla chai flavored tea right now and when I finish it I'll probably go to like um, a honey tea. Like I have a honey vanilla chamomile or I'll go to mint chamomile. Because those are my favorites and I don't feel good. We should really get like a lemon ginger one or something. I was gonna say, have you told Chad about your um, My what? Armory of tea. I have a huge selection of tea. It was quite a learning experience, a lot of trial and error. Dude, he saved me so much time. <laughs> like, straight up. You saved me so much time and frustration. I am so grateful. <laughs> And they want everyone, including you, to enjoy your stay here. Because I have the streamer server. 
I have a couple settings that people want me to change, which make total sense and I will change. Um, but beyond that, like the streamer server is 100% set and ready to go. And I did all of the hot potato schedule. People are just, they still have a few more hours to tell me if they have any problems with it. So I have to wait that time out. That Suboy drinks also came in the clutch. Oh yeah, Suboy has like, um, they're gamer subs, and the ones that have caffeine in it also have electrolytes, and they really helped me because I slept for like... It was a long time. I slept for like 18, 20 hours after my stream. Yeah, I mean, I woke up a few times, but I slept for a really long time. I woke up at 8 p.m. I'll give you guys that. I woke up at 8 p.m. my time yesterday. And so by the time I woke up, I was really dehydrated. So Suboy made me some of that. And it really helped me feel better. In other words, mango. Oh, yeah. It was a mango flavor. It was very nice. But, yeah, I was feeling... Um, what I thought was just anxiety and a little heartburn. No. No, um, yeah, I, I ended up, like, really, quite sick. Um, some kind of stomach bug. Some kind of stomach thing. I had a plastic bag with me in bed, just cause, you know, when you're sick, having something for any kind of, yeah, any kind of vomit to go in is very important. All that Project Zomboid salad? Yeah, totally, totally. No, what happened is, is I started to get sick and I was so focused on Project Zomboid that I didn't really pick up on the fact that I wasn't feeling good until it was way too late. And then I thought it was like an anxiety thing. And so I just didn't really respect it like I should have. I really honestly should have ended the second I got back from that BRB, but I kind of pushed through another hour. Um, so my body is a little worse for wear today, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Octal, I hope you live alone. That's all I have to say. If you live alone and you're not going out in public, does it matter how often you shower though? Why? Why does it matter if no one's ever going to see you when you live alone? Because if you're a complete recluse and you're not going to bother anyone with it. Because it'll be harder to get back to being clean? One shower will not keep you clean if, you that, if you're that dirty. Mm -hmm. You'll have to take multiple showers over multiple days to mm -hmm. get back to being a regular actual clean. Smell lingers. True, smell does like linger. One shower if you True. Before. Yeah, no, you're right. Because when I get truly stinky, I have to like... Okay, that does make sense. I don't live alone. It's an issue. Oh, no, Octal Mage. Your partner that has experience? Yeah, we both kind of get lazy on occasion. So. <laughs> yeah. And before I lived with Sue Boy, I just spent the time with my family, and I didn't get close enough for them to notice I smelled. Or they just didn't mention it. Or they didn't care or whatever. They just went, oh, it's a kid, whatever, you know? So, like, when I was in middle school during the summer, I'm pretty sure I'd go, like, a week sometimes. Uh, I never dealt with that girl core. Though I do have, the, like, my eczema actually makes me have to shower every so often because if I go too long, my rashes will get really bad with because I have eczema. And it means that, like, allergens slowly get onto my skin and make me itchy. Oh, that's gross, Octolage. No, I never get that bad. Plus, I've always been pretty good about not having much sweat or BO compared to most people. Now that I'm in the desert, I am definitely having to deal with it. But prior to living in the desert, I basically didn't 
have B.O. at all. Anyway, nothing like the first time you visited our town, hey? I'm impressed you managed to get close to our residents, even though they initially rejected you. And you take good care of them, regardless of who they are. Chat prefers you and your vibe? That's nasty. That's so nasty. Uh, I actually can't shower every day, though, because my skin is too dry. And so, like, I hate when people say that you have to shower every day, because it's just, like, I don't, you know, those are people with oily or normal skin. They're not people with dry skin. You know, like, I have to lather myself in lotion after I shower, or my skin, like, tightens and cracks. Literally cracks. Um... And if I shower too often, it dries my skin out really bad. Like, the main reason I shower, like, my hair gets overly greasy before my skin needs it. Though nowadays I live in the desert, it's the smell, but... You take good care of them, regardless of who they are. I believe that in their hearts, they think you're one of us now. I hope this makes your time here even more pleasant. Anyway, I'm a type of person who's like way too comfortable talking about TMI stuff. So, <laughs> please tell me if like this is too much. Because it does not bug me to the degree it's supposed to, and it never has. The talk is about stuff like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There were too much, you started it? Fair enough. Alright, so I got those, so we'll go back to town. Rainer's probably at his shop. It's called Transparency. I mean, I like derpy topics. Ah, uh, yeah, he's in his place, but it's not open. I'll go over here. Just this one. I don't know how to fix that one. Maybe you go to Zeke? At that time? I don't know how to do that one. Okay, take me a Cassandra. I'll just go ahead and talk to everyone while we wait for the uh, carpentry shop to open. Not sleeping's weird? Yeah, I played with Michelle. And not sleeping is super weird. Also just saying, on Halloween evening, I believe it is, everyone's gonna be uh, allowed to um, play on the streamer server because it will get opened up. I'll probably just turn the password off, to be honest. If the uh, thing lets me, but it should. Here's Rue. Yeah, but it will be once the whole event is over, you know? Oh, he's in his house. Hey Jack, how's it going? Before starting a server, you never lived long enough to need sleep? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to get to that point, to be completely honest.
But yeah, I'm feeling a little sick, but I'm doing my best. Bloomberry. Okay. We'll go back to the main town area, like right here-ish. So, I'm just going through and saying hi to all of the villagers in the game. Because it's how we're going to befriend them. There we go. Your PC upgrade came in and everything runs smoother. Ooh. I haven't even upgraded to Windows 11. I don't know why, I just haven't felt the need, I guess. Yeah, from what I know, there's no real reason to. Yeah, I'm running around and saying hi to everyone in game. And we'll go to our carpenter friend. Only the dog tell us where everyone is is so nice. Who's after Liano? Let's see, we got luck. So I'm just letting Subway tell me where everyone is and we're running to him. You have no issues with 11, it's not great, it's not bad, it's a brand new PC, so you did it, so you didn't have to do it later. Fair enough, thing is, is like, I already have everything set up on 10, so why bother? You were on 7 before? Legends are soup, then they're not, come on. Have some common sense, Cabal. luck doing here this turn Wait, from 7 to 11 10 was really unstable oh I'm on 10 I mean, one of my mom's computers actually, no, I think it finally died, but, um, my mom was on Vista to, like, 2017 or something, because the computer was so old it wasn't capable, like, the hardware wasn't capable of running anything, anything above Vista. I'm gonna have to look up that one friendship event I'm on because I have not yet figured out how to activate it. Have you collected the materials for your one's banjo? Very well. I'll go and craft it soon. Please visit the shop again tomorrow. Emerald with Queen not playing new DLC. I'm not feeling good. I don't feel good enough to have to think that hard. Honestly, that's why I'm going for something so chill. Oh, Matteo, yep. All been upgrading Windows 7 to Windows 10. Reinstalled Windows 10. Activate it with... I... Oh, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have been. Think about upgrading your second PC to Windows 11 as well. Dang. A lot of reading and a lot of learning. Ooh. I did get a review key for it, so I will be covering it later. 
It's just, I don't feel good enough right now. You know? Like, I barely have the energy to stream this game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm taking it very chill and slow. Uh, Suboy actually, like, made me stuff. He made me an electrolyte drink, and he helped me make a sandwich. And he brought me food yesterday, too. I am drinking tea. I have vanilla chai tea right here. to Mercy today. We have not yet talked to Meyer. So right now what we're doing in the game is something super chill and that's why I'm able to like handle playing this. We're literally just grinding friendship level up. Which is really easy. You know? Why did you go behind the barrels? Oh. So I'm just going through and saying hi to everyone that we don't have maxed out yet. Oh, no, it was one of them. No, she's not. Chai tea has milk? I am not drinking. It's, I, I don't have milk in it. I do not have milk in it. It's just a uh, tea bag flavoring. Easy fix for broken windows update. This time restarting the update service. But the flavor is vanilla chai. Did they lie to me? What's the flavor then? Seems like lies. Oh no. It's tasty. It would be very good with milk, but. That sounds like a lot of work to add milk to tea. Cause then you, like, I'd have to go to a working refrigerator to get milk. Plus I'd have to have a milk that I can actually drink because I'm lactose intolerant. So it's just a whole thing. You know. We already talked to Rue today. Cecilia. Buffalo milk? Is that an actual thing? What I need is I need like a lemon honey flavor, although I don't really like lemon that much. Which is funny because when I drink alcohol, I absolutely love sours. Sours are one of my favorite. <laughs> Muffalo. Yeah, I love sour. I'm just not the hugest lemon person, which is like this weird thing. You know? Hmm. I'm gonna look up the board notice I have here because it's It doesn't tell you where to go. 
And it's just been throwing me off. Potion. Oh. Po potion permit. Kips is going to play. I found it. Okay. Uh, okay, so check near the church from 7.30 and 6.30 between Tuesday and Sunday. Okay. So we can't do it tomorrow, but it's in front of the church. I just Googled it because it's like, I haven't figured that one out. Um, I know I technically failed a bunch of quests, but I don't care about them, to be honest. They don't do anything. Alright. Stomach. Left up, right up, up. Up, down, right, left, down, up. Up, down, right, left, left. There you go. Alright. Then I'll go make him potions. Not this one, that's glitched. Um. Uh, I don't have a lot of options. I don't have a lot of pieces here. See that? Just use this myself. I don't know. Okay. Let's see if I have the right shape. I do. And this is the right shape, so I just need a dot. There you go. Alright. Okay. My overlay is not in a good spot for this game. Let me edit it. Okay. Actually, no, we'll do the battle right now. It doesn't matter. There you go. But yeah, the tea I have as well is, um... Caffeinated. Oh, earlier I was playing with the community cat, like the outdoor feral cat that adopted me 
and um because I bought a little like, cat teaser for her and the bells weren't made right for cats and the bell had too big of a gap in it and her claw got stuck in the bell so boy and his dad took care of it and the cat was like actually really really um obedient or like she she was very trusting that we were taking care of her even though it hurt you know she let us help her which was huge for her but i i wrote a bad review on the uh the product because they should not be selling a cat toy that um the claw where it's you know the claws can get stuck in the bell that's not okay and it made me really sad like it didn't like long term hurt her right because she just kind of got up and walked away as if nothing had happened when we did get it off of her but yeah well okay what we think is her backstory is that she's not a hundred percent feral like what we think happened is she was somebody's cat what's up Sue boy no which bunny dude i almost stepped on the black one the other day Yeah, but the feral cat, like, it's been over a long time. Like, Suboy's dad initially tamed her. And then, um, I kind of took over. So, yeah, she hasn't attacked me. She attacks me the least, and she's obedient. Okay. I still feel bad. That was traumatic for me. You have tons of feral cats that live in the neighborhood. They become comfortable with being near, but they never let you touch. Oh no, she loves attention. Oh my gosh. Earlier, I was working on a hot potato thing with someone, and like there was a lot of waiting periods, and the cat was in here. So I was just giving her brushies during the waiting periods. And she was very happy. And then I went to go play with her when the person said that it was going to take a minute for what they were doing. And... Um, that's when her claw got stuck. So, we have to take the bell off of her toy. Because if her claw can get stuck in it once, it can get stuck in it again. And it's not okay to have her claw getting stuck. But yeah, no, she's really obedient towards me, but not Sue Boy. Like, she pretty much never attacks me. If she's going to attack someone, she'll attack Sue Boy. No, you are the only one brave enough to handle her. Um. That's my treat, though. If, like, I go outside, because we're in a trailer right now, right? And if I go outside to go to the house, the cat, like, 80% of the time will walk with me between the house and the trailer. Um, she really likes walking with me. And then, um, so she always tries getting in. But I've kind of learned how to communicate that right now I don't want her in. I'm just going to kick her out anyway. Versus you're allowed in. Um, basically, I block it with my foot. And then if she tries from a different angle, I then put my foot, like, the bottom of my foot right basically on her face. Like, I don't actually touch her. But, you know, it's, like, very, very close. And she's like, okay, okay, I'll, I, I won't, you know. But if she's allowed in, I open the door real wide and give her a minute. Also, we don't even know that the cat's a girl. We're pretty sure the cat's a boy. We're pretty sure we saw male bits under the tail. Oh, you're there. It's honestly really hard to tell, though. Like, I've looked up how to tell, and I'm still just here. Like, I don't know. You know, I finished the banjo for Yorn. 
hopefully you managed to get a hold of the materials. Otherwise, I couldn't say how long it would have taken to get a hold of them. Here you go. Please deliver it to Yorn. Yeah, but she's not amazing at, like, controlling her emotions. If that makes sense. If you're not quite doing what she wants, she sometimes will just kind of claw you. And she's not always perfect at, a, like, communicating what she wants either. Is the banjo finished? Can I have a look? Come on, follow me. Also, she has a lot of trust in me. I know that because her tail has been injured for like two weeks now. And she literally let me lift the tip of her tail up so I could see the injury. Because I wanted to see like how bad it looked and if it looked like it was healing or not. And she totally just let me touch very close to her injury. I didn't actually touch the injury. I don't think she would have been okay with that. But she let me touch very close to her tail injury without really any complaint. The new banjo sure feels different in my hands. This takes me back in time when I was younger. What is this, Uboy? Is this where we compare it to the trash dump my pet pav and me? Dude, but this cat trusts me more than your cat trusts me. Yeah. I was just talking about the level of trust that you can get with an animal. Yeah. Like with my bunny. Mm-hmm. Or Sounds like an abandoned cat becomes stray. Cats adopt you. You don't adopt them. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, like when Patricia didn't want anyone else touching her but me. Yeah, we think she's an abandoned cat. That's a stray. Like, this cat, no joke, will let me, like, scratch her chin and, like, or, like, if I, you know, on the rare occasion I use my hands instead of a brush, cause, uh, like, because I plan to wash my hands right away after, um, because I'm allergic, I'll, um, I can put my hand around her neck while giving her scratches and pets, and she just loves it. She has so much trust in me that I can just put my hand around her neck. Like, it'd be so easy to hurt her, to, like, kill her, and she's just like... I'm a human. And it's just like, how are you okay with this? This takes me back in time to when I was young. I used to play songs on the banjo. Actually, I'm really into art, especially music. I wish I could entertain everyone with my banjo. Here, let me play you a song. Consider this as my payment. But yeah, the cat has crazy amounts of trust towards me. And she's like very obedient, but only when it comes to me. Town Hall, Vulcan Build. And I've been like continually impressed by her trust. Please, Zeke, only you can do this. I told you already, I'm retired, Meyer. But you're the only person who can bring back the book. I'm not so sure about that. Do it for this town, Zeke, just this once. Real ferals can be really sad. They live a tortured life. They've never just won in the things they do to each other. Yeah, I mean, there are proper ferals around here, so that's why we thought she was feral. There's a little tabby cat. Um. That's, like, whenever, we can, like, get kind of close, but we can't touch it. And, um. If we start giving it attention, it just meows at us like crazy.
honestly, Suboy, to some degree, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the house behind us that let Annie go. No. Considering they let a bunch of rabbits go. It wasn't them. They've been here before we got here. No, she... Uh, oh, she's from before them? She, yeah, she... She's from... Oh, okay. Before then. No, she, uh... She came from that way. How do you know she came from that way? Because that's where she always came from. Mm, fair. She was always over there. Uh, there are there have been houses that have emptied out. And oh, people moved away like, from like there. We came here. Okay. People moved away. And so she might have just been a pet that wasn't able to be brought along. Or someone forgot or couldn't find her. It could have been some real tragic thing. Most likely. Why do you think so? She's been outdoor. She's been an outdoor cat around here since we moved here. True. She's definitely not a baby cat. No. Definitely an adult cat. She's been sleeping in one of our cars. Since yeah. Now. Well, she was always sleeping in their cars for like years, and then she started getting close to Suboid's dad for several years. Give her a little bit of food here and there. We give her a tiny bit of food, but really, she's, she's like just like. And then, like, one day she just kind of starts sleeping on Suboy's dad. <laughs> but, like, what do you want? That's not fair, Meyer. You're putting me on the spot. Oh, Sui, what brings you here? Could you give us a moment? We're in the middle of a discussion. Wait, maybe Sui could help us. Sorry? I think that's why she Look, the, the merchant who has your book has had a hair problem for a while. He always wanted to grow some hair ever since my days as a merchant. If we can fix that problem, I can try to negotiate with him. Are you sure this can work? It all depends on Sui. Okay, Sui. Please help us for the sake of the town. Okay. So yeah, we don't know what her past is for sure. There's no way we'll ever learn, but she's kind of our cat. <laughs> I think she got used to us because she was sleeping in our car. But we so think then she just got she was just all felt already kind of familiar to us. Or for her. Yeah, we think she just got used to our smell because, like, Suboy and his dad's smell because, um, she slept in their car for a really long time at night, so it was her safe spot, and that smell reminded her of safety. Hmm, and he might need some extra time. Can you make it quick for Otmar? I don't think that'd be possible. Oh, hello, Suey. Can you please help Otmar? Otmar saved money from Otmar's cafe. And Otmar want to use it to repair Liano's ship. Otmar keep this secret from Liano. Otmar won't surprise Liano and repay for everything she's done for Otmar. And Otmar won't show Liano she can rely on Otmar. So, you help Otmar? Otmar owe you a lot. These are the things I need in order to start the building. I got the rest of it all covered. So, give me a shout once you got those things. I've become a total cat person though, not gonna lie. I wanna get this, but we don't have the materials. Alright, so we'll go do the crafting. I'm somewhat better. I wasn't in bed all day. Is that good enough? Because I was in bed like all day yesterday. Gosh dang it, they took all the good ones away. All the 
good shapes aren't allowed. <laughs> Okay, so, is there one of those that I can do? No. Um, do I have a three across? I do, it's this one. Purple flower, crab claw, and some sap. Should do me good. So... Where's the purple flower at? It's right here. Improvement is improvement, yeah. Most all cats are only interested in humans as potential servants, so the humans are okay with it. Why do you think their humans are servants? Cause this cat doesn't seem to act like that's the case. I mean, well, I guess she just accepts loves for me. Dude, see boy, your cat is so obedient. She's a princess. She is a princess, but we love her. Alright, so savory tasting sap is barren wasteland trees. I don't think it's these ones though. I think it's the big ones. Yeah. Oh, this is sweet though, so we can just get all the trees from here. But yeah, I really like the cat. That's the moral of the story. Sui likes the cat. Which one? Both. I like both the cat. I, I'm not sure about it. She doesn't trust me as much as the other cat. Mm -mm. Earning a cat's trust is really special. She trusts you as much as cat, if not more. True. Yeah. Granted, most are definitely trying to be the rulers of their nest. Oh, yeah. You became second human. I am second human, you're right. It's just there's a gap between second and first. Companion. Yeah. We'll never become first. Yeah, cats are very obvious about who they like and don't like, though. I will say that much. Honestly, that's just kind of an animal thing in general. They tend to be very, very open about who they like and who they don't. Which honestly is nice. Because if an animal, if your animal doesn't like someone, Usually, you should be sus of that person a little. You know, they, they tend to have a pretty good vibe check. At least in my experience. Unless the animal just doesn't like everyone. That's different, though. Now, I will admit, I do kind of usually sweet talk animals by playing with them and giving them attention, but, uh, yeah. What can I deal with that? Is the rest of my energy gone? Did I get extra of any of the sap? Hmm. 
gonna have to make more tea soon. I just ran out. Oh, this is an easy one. Okay, I'm gonna go start- Ooh, I need to use the restroom too. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna go boil some water. I just need to pour the water into a thing. The kettle. Two seconds. So chat, I'm gonna be right back really quick, but you guys should pick for me. Should I do honey chamomile or should I do mint chamomile? Okay, I'm back. Ooh, what one do you guys want? You want me to have honey chamomile? Okay. Let me go grab the tea bag. Okay, now I'm just waiting for my uh, tea to my water to boil. Oops, wrong button. Yeah. Um. I just don't have eucalyptus. Plus, my dad's allergic to eucalyptus, so I'm a little scared of it. It's like one of my dad's only actual allergies is eucalyptus. Down, left. 
left, down, right. Left, right, up. Has time been passing in the game this whole time? No. Maybe I have that shape. You don't. Yeah, I'll just do it like this. I know I need this sap, but whatever. It's worth it. the tea is basically done boiling it did, beep. did it beep yeah. <gasps> okay give me one second chat i gotta pour my tea Since it's 100% herbal, it takes a little longer, so it'll be done in like six minutes. Honey vanilla chamomile, it smells so good. Man, I wanna, I wanna do loose leaf tea eventually. Oops. But I don't have loose leaf tea. It's such annoying shapes to work with. Maybe I'll be able to work with that better. For whatever reason. I mean, I can do this. But not. Alright. And, like, I'm not that sick. I'm pretty much just a little under the weather right now. I just kind of become useless when I'm sick, so. I'm not good at, like, being mentally strong when I'm sick. Eucalyptus can be quite toxic in nature, and it's not surprising some people develop allergies. Yeah, my uh, dad has allergies. As I said. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a tree up here. So we're grinding all the sap we need. Which 
which will take the early part of the day away in this game. Gonna deal with that area. Thank you. Alright. Oh, battle time. Tea's not ready yet. Plus, I have to wait for it to cool down enough to be drinkable, you know? They brewed at a really hot temperature. But that makes it taste so much better when it's at that hot, hot temperature. So, yeah. But yeah, we're also probably doing a pretty short stream today. Like, I doubt it's gonna go over four hours. Tomorrow we should be back to Project Zomboid stuff. Thing is, is I don't know if I should cover um, Potionomics or the Biotech update first. I think I'll probably do Potionomics because I think I'm more excited for Potionomics. Just because I don't want to burn myself out on Rimworld again. Especially this close to the charity event. Plus there's like strategy behind it too, right? Because if I do it um, closer to the charity event or even after the charity event, then I'm going to have all the new people coming in who like Rimworld. You know? Gotta strategize. after makes a lot of sense for me yeah that's kind of my thing as well as like for an off game I'd rather do a potionomics wait since when does one of these guys exist here I was unaware one of these mobs existed over here. That would have sped up my uh, gathering like 50% earlier. Alright. Ooh boy, get fed. Yeah, mechanalize. I'm a little bit sick right now, but I'm, I'm doing better. I was like way sicker yesterday. They're talking about the cat, Monka S. Cat S, I hope the cat's okay. I care about the kitty. But yeah, I'm a little bit sick. It turns out on stream Wednesday when I was like feeling really awful. I was actually at the start of the sickness. And then I was like, I, don't, I didn't sleep super good that night. And I was in bed till like 8 p.m. the next day. But I am doing a lot better today. But I'm taking things a little slow. Yo. So that's also all the energy we have. 
I'll check if there's any more events here. This one, but actually we can do this one though. Just in front of the church. You can never remember which one is the church and which is the monastery. Where in front of the church? That's a real question. How do I trigger it? Said it's in front of the church. What the heck? Okay, so in the cutscene, I can see they're like over at these benches. There we go. Finally, let's play another game. No, I have to go home soon. Don't be such a downer, Laura. Come on, just one last game. Laura, let's go home. You've been playing far too long. Yes, Mama, I'm going now. Bye, Russo. Bye, Kips. Okay, let me make my tea now, because it's actually priced slightly overbrewed, but it's fine because it's herbal tea. And herbal tea doesn't really overbrew to the same degree that black tea does. I finished making my tea. I just gotta stir the sugar in and then take the tea bag out. And then I'll have my tea. Okay, let me just take the tea bag out. I got my honey vanilla chamomile tea ready. I just have to wait for it to cool down a little bit. This is potion permit. Dad, we're so lame. Who needs them anyway? Let's go play, play over there with Kips. Hoping to finish it today. Do you have a lot of kips? Yeah, I'm aware. I'm probably not going to cover it for a while, though. It's just because I got a lot of stuff going on. And I'm like so invested in Project Zomboid. The only reason I'm doing not doing Project Zomboid today is because I'm feeling kind of sick. So, you want to talk about Russo? Please tell me this isn't more of his mischievous behavior. About Russo's parents, I don't have any clue about them, but I've taken care of him since he was a baby. I still remember the day I heard a baby crying in front of the church. A sweet baby boy covered with a blanket with the name Rousseau knitted on it. I really like Zomboid. Um, I actually have a streamer server starting on Monday. We'll be starting it at 5 p.m with the eventual goal of raiding the uh, Crossroads Mall, which is like the biggest building in the game. I haven't even seen it yet. Scott, you really tempted to jump back into a Rimworld rabbit hole? I liked ideology a lot. Royalty didn't really grab me that hard though. I never really told him about that, but I guess he noticed it as he was growing up. 
He hates his real parents, but I do care for him. I've taken care of him all this time, just like my own. I wish I could do something more for him. You want to know what Russo likes? Well, he likes pancakes. I think we should get some for him. You want to help with the pancakes? Well, it sounds like a good idea. Let's make a surprise party for Russo. Winning a vanilla expanded royalty mod? Oh, has that never happened? Pancakes? Yeah, I can make some pancakes. Please come with me. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Ah, yes, here it is. What is it for, though, if you don't mind my asking? Pancakes for Russo? That's nice. Well, I can make them for you, but right now I don't have some of the ingredients I need to make them. Would you mind collecting them for me? I'll make things pancakes as soon as all the ingredients have been collected. Alright. I need egg and milk. Which, from what I know, I can only get that at the farmhouse. Also, we need to buy more energy uh, potions. Not potions. Um, although I think we can make the energizer and possibly take it. I don't know. I like buying from here. Um, there we go. We have so much money that I don't need to worry about it. You know? Yeah, royalty really didn't quite hit as hard as I was hoping it would. But, um, the other ones seem good. <laughs> Too bad we can't interact with the kit who's here, you know? Okay, how much do I need of things? I need five eggs and ten milk. Wait. Here we go. Then I'll go get the snowberry. Which is just scattered throughout the glazed iceberg. VE Psycast, what's that? Is it a mod? I like what this drops. Also, I want more of these. A few roses, too, while we're here. Because having these materials can actually be super useful. I heard Suboy's phone go off. Or was it my phone? It was Suboy's phone. Vanilla expanded side casts? Ooh. Yeah, I didn't play with it at all ever. Okay, this is always a nice sheep too. We'll just grab this while we're here. I'm just grabbing a bunch of things because having these materials is always useful. Okay, 
we'll go to Mario. Sounds like Superboy and his dad are having a fun little chat. I can kind of hear him. They're talking about the rabbits. You have all the ingredients? Great, I'll make the pancakes now. I was like 100 sidecasts split into 10 ish classes. Dang. What was Pop saying about the cat? He said something about the cat when you guys were first talking. Yeah. What are you guys chat about? What did you pick? Oh. I look as good as I remember. I hope they taste as good as they look. But most importantly, I hope Russo loves them. There we go. But I want it at all. Where is Sophia? But yeah, I hope everyone's been doing well. I did get like the hot potato stuff completely ready, which feels really nice. Pancakes with you? Thank you. Now let's prepare for a surprise party together. She's Cecilia, Suey. You guys celebrating? Is there a family party? What's this for? I I don't need any pancakes. I want to show that we're here for you and that we care for you. You should try the pancakes. So you help me get that for you. It's good. Thank you so much, Sister Cecilia. And Suey, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, for the hot potato? I mean, it's only 34 people this year. But it is a lot. And then the people in the streamer server actually overlap with the hot potato quite a bit. Now wipe away your tears and celebrate with a smile. Enjoy the pancakes, Russo. I will. Time to eat some more. Okay, so you have to do the scalp tonic. We still also need these, but that's gonna be a while. Um, let's see. It's 19 in game, so it's probably yeah too late to late talk to anyone. We'll go chop down trees. So we grabbed all the ones there, but we can go grab the trees here while well, we still have energy. It's so inefficient though. I'm not gonna bother. I will make that tonic real fast though. No, we'll do it later. I'm so indecisive, man. Alright. 
So go ahead and go get the sap. So the blue one is the one we're gonna have spares of when we do have spares. Yeah, we're already full on the blues, which is good to see. I kind of just get a root, I get used to running here. Ew. That was rude. I didn't attack them. Why are they attacking me? This is a long way to go for no wood. <laughs> okay. Nope, made in my head. I'll probably forget, but that's okay. But yeah, the charity event seems to be well underway, like all the planning and stuff for it. Cause there's a lot that goes into it. I think I want three blue sap to be able to do what I'm doing. Okay. So now I only need to look for the big trees. Like this one right here. There you go. So I can do the, um, potion now. What do you win? Uh, good job. That's what you win. Good job. <laughs> yeah. The way this game works is once you have enough friendships high enough, you can um, get the end credits. And that's what we're trying to do. Like, I don't even know why, but I've just decided. Oh, is the potion ready? Let's hope this bottle of yours works perfectly. I'm going to send this right away. It's been a while for me. Time to get to work. Okay, so now we can go to people that aren't like besties, so Cassandra. Oh. <laughs> uh, come here, it's great to see you. I'm feeling a bit sick today, but I'm doing my best. Hold on.
Okay. There you go. And then we got Dan, but we'll probably end up talking to Dev. Yep. Okay. Yeah, today is a chill day because I don't feel great. Tomorrow we'll be doing more Zomboid. Alright, Yorn's at max. Here we go. Alright, who's next? Forest. I don't even need to ask where he is. He's gonna be over this way. Whether he's ho at his house or here, which he's here right now, you don't know. There we go. Then we've already talked to Garrett today. Uh, Laura's probably over by the farmhouse, so I'm just going to teleport to this one first. But I try to talk to all the villagers that I'm not besties with sometimes. It uh, makes it easier. Because eventually we'll get there. Okay, we'll talk. We'll find out where Luck is first. So he's probably close to Laura. Then we will go here because Liano is over, always over in this region. However, might as well take the guesswork out. I'm working on the Otmar one, right? Okay. Wait, I haven't picked someone yet. So after luck is Mariel, but she's at max, so Martha. But yeah, we're just slowly working on befriending everyone to max. It takes time, but that's okay. You can have leftover pizza? Ooh, leftover pizza's sick. I actually really like leftover pizza. As long as it's not like super cheap pizza, it has to be high quality pizza to be good leftover, you know? Okay, so next is Matteo, which he's always in the same place. But we'll go there anyway. Ah, uh, Little Caesars is too low. I'd say Domino's and Little Caesars tends not to be good the next day. Sorry. Those are like the specific two that tend not to be good the next day.
about Papa John's? Uh, I haven't had Papa John's enough to, like, actually say, but from what I understand, I think it's pretty comparable to Round Table, and Round Table is really good the next day, so I'm sure it's good. Aw, oh, Costco pizza's so good. I haven't been to a Costco in, like, well over a year. I love going there and getting their smoothie and then having a pizza as well. Oh, it's the best. And then, like, it's always a really good price, too. Can't get into Costco because you're not a member? Yeah, me either. I don't have that kind of money sitting around. And I'm not shopping for like a family, so... What do you mean Meyer's in here? Oh, he must be downstairs in the arcade. Oh, so please Helen, don't do that again. It's dangerous. Sweetie, come on. I'm a grown woman. I can take care of myself. But you have no idea how much danger you'd be in roaming alone in the wilderness. Grown women or not, monsters will hurt you if they spot you. Now, now, are you worrying about me, sweetie? No, that's not what I mean. I... H hey, chemist, come here. Listen to this nonsense, will you? This lady here, Helen, thinks it's fine to go wandering alone in the wilderness. Just to look for some shiny crystal or other. As a police officer, I feel her safety is much more important than some stone, am I right? Look, I have to look for that bright crystal, okay? You know I love collecting gems, and that one is the top of my list. There's no need to worry about me. No, what if I look for it for you? The monsters out there are unpredictable and scary. At least I can fight them off. What did you say? Since you're more familiar with the area, it'd be better for you to do it. Oh well, how generous you are. So, what do you think, officer? Do your chemist will help me look for it? I I suppose that's alright, if our chemist can handle it. Wonderful. Please come see me once they got it. I owe you one, sweetie pie. Sick. There you go. Uh, just saying, it's real hard to convince anyone to travel for two hours to go hiking for two more hours and travel two hours back to town. Yikes, Gecko! That sucks. Yeah. Good luck with that. The only way you could probably do it is, like, if you made it an overnight thing, I'd say. You know... Because I don't think I could be convinced to do that, personally. I'm also extremely out of shape, so I can't even, like, hike for two hours straight. I'm working on it, though. Yesterday, I would have done work on it, but I've been really sick. Well, I haven't been super sick, but I have been sick. So, I'm trying to take it easy. You got the crystal for me? Fabulous. Let's go. Let's get together at the arcade. Thank you, chemist. You found the crystal for me and it looks gorgeous. Well, I suppose I can be off now. Our chemist got you what you wanted. But don't put yourself in danger next time. I, I could find a crystal for you too, you know. Oh, that's cute. Even a bigger one, if you... Jealous, are we, sweetie? What? No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm simply doing my duty as a police officer. 
to make sure that all our citizens are safe. Oh, yes, you are. You're jealous of our friend, the chemist. Let's have a drink sometime, shall we, Dean? It's on me. N no, thank you. I have to go now. Excuse me. <laughs> That's cute. Well, he's a silly boy, but rather sweet. That one was actually going for Meyer. Eva's done, she's done, she's done, husband's done. Otmar has been talked to you today. I think I did the quest for Russo, but I'll check. <laughs> right, Gecko? Right? I feel that. By the way, I'm Suey. Um, usually I'm more energetic and stuff. I'm just a bit sick, so. Yeah. Oh, we're at max friendship with Russo now. Find Victor. Okay. Yorn is done. Zeke, I think we currently have a quest out for. I'll check. <laughs> hey, I mean, I appreciate it, Gecko. I appreciate it. What kind of whiskey? I'm I'm kind of a whiskey noob myself. Um, but yeah, it's the one now the like one type of alcohol that I really haven't dove into. You haven't seen a single potion, so you think this might be some kind of pyramid scheme? <laughs> Canalize. Maker's Mark. I have not heard of that. I really need to become um, a little better versed in whiskey. Maybe that'll make that the next, like, focus alcohol-wise for myself. I only drink, like, once every few months, though, so... <laughs> I can't lie. I prefer a honey barbecue, to be honest. Hey, we got a reply just now. Go with me to town hall. Here's the package, Mo. Although, like, um... Like, the one sauce that I actually like is when you go to Subway, they have a creamy sriracha. That's good stuff, but it's really spicy. Maybe see you saw garlic if it goes with the meal. Solid. Here's a package of mine. Finally, the book about the Moonberry's history has been returned. Thank you so much, everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'll store in the safest place right away. It's a bourbon? I don't even know what bourbon is, to be honest. Usually the sweetest of varieties tend to be spicy sweeter here than scotch. I, okay. <laughs> I kinda do enjoy the burn though. Like, I'm totally fine having like rum straight. I actually kinda like white rum by itself. I mean, a bunch of places have honey barbecue. It's a pretty common flavor. And there he goes. Now we're finished, let's head back, shall we?
Did everything go smoothly? You know, I actually came from the capital too. I was a merchant back there and quite a successful one, I must say. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough, mechanalize. Is the burn lake way worse than when you have Rum Street? But my success quickly became meaningless as it made me more worried each day. Oh, really? I'd say I have an idea. Wait, wait, isn't? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm Googling something. Before I sound stupid. It, it, it's whiskey. It's whiskey. Fireball. I've, I've had shots of fireball. That's actually very pleasant. Finally, I decided to retire and leave everything behind except Kit. Scotch is more bitter. Irish is balanced. Japanese tastes like scotch with less burn. But Japanese is a... So is there... Is Japanese whiskey different than, um... Well, it would be different than, uh... Oh, uh, what are you call it? Oh, uh, the name's escaping me right now. Sweetest but burniest? Okay. I had... I, I've had, um... I shot a fireball before, and it was fun. I like spicy. It's just like when it's too spicy, it's a lot. Like, there's this um, place that has um, chicken curry, but it's so spicy. Like, you ask for the most mild thing, and I'm over there, like, you know, sweating, face red. <laughs> and, like, the room's super cold. I love it. It's so nice in the winter. Mm -hmm. And look at me now, here in Moonberry, living a carefree, simple life. It suits me very well, don't you think? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm white. I've only really gotten to experience, like, actually spiced food recently since I moved here because, like, um, Suboy's grandma is full Mexican, and then Suboy is a quarter Mexican, so like it is, I guess it is a Mexican household, and so I've really learned about chili powder a lot and how amazing it is, but they have a non-spicy version of chili powder. I have been yammering on for too long, I'll see you around. Thanks for the help earlier. There's no quarters in the <laughs> canalize, you're the worst. <laughs> you're the worst, dude. Big trees only. All spice then, mildly spicy, fragrant, sweet. Ooh. That sounds good. You may be the worst, but I laughed. Psh. What do you mean I laughed? I don't laugh. I don't do that. Why why would you why why would you say I laugh? No. No 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 no. I I don't do that ever. Mm-hmm. Never ever. It's suey, not laughy. I feel like I missed a couple trees. I'm gonna go ahead and like go and ah, we missed one here. I started sounding drunk. I'm just kind of sick. Honestly, I'm just kind of sick. I do not feel well enough to have alcohol right now, dude. Not at all. That would be such a bad decision. I'd probably get more sick if I did that, so I'm good. 
Because doesn't it like suppress your immune system and stuff? I'd rather not deal with that personally when I already don't feel good. I must have gotten them all. I just feel like I didn't. Hmm. Okay. a good pop tart flavor i don't know i don't really like pop tarts <laughs> so dev at his place from 12 to 20 um i can do this one to the coach house oh that's um over this way It didn't work. This is the coach house, right? What is the coach house? It's over here. Uh, yeah, those aren't bad. I don't really ever have them. But I know what you're talking about, and those are really good. It's a funny topic that people think it's good because it can kill bacteria, but the body, in the body, it actually helps it grow. Really interesting. I can't analyze. That sucks. Yeah, this one probably is not what you're looking for. <laughs> the car's wheel is broken. We'll have to carry these packages ourselves. Can the two of you take care of it? Pretty blooming heavy. Could we have someone to help us out? I don't think that's a great idea. People are busy with their own affairs. Let me think. Isui. We're having some problems lifting a load of packages. your muscles what no chemist could probably have the strength to make a difference potion to boost our strength temporarily are you serious for real give it to Derek once you've brewed it all right The GUIs? GUIs? Oh, the... Yeah, the Vermold Xbox. Okay, I need to go use the bathroom real fast. Um, I will be back in like 30 seconds. I just... Yeah, I'm drinking a lot of tea.
talking about when you say they, Mechanoise? The Xbox people? Oh, like Game Pass? Oh, hello, Suey. Why have you come to help? We've got a situation here. One of our horses has gone missing lately. I'm sure she ran away during the night. I've asked around, but nobody has a clue about it. It would be a challenge to find her. She's fast. I'm afraid we won't catch her if we don't act now. We need to find her immediately. How about setting up a trap for her? It's probably not a good idea. There's a chance she might get hurt because of the trap. Hmm, so what are you guys suggesting? Bait? Well, that's a good idea. Where are you going to use this bait anyway? I suggest choosing food that she likes. Carrots from a cold region. It's kind of rare though. Well, that sounds like a plan. Can we count on you, Suey? Alright. About 12. But we can go over here. I'm a little confused what they mean by carrots. Is it these? Oh, they're just kind of spread throughout. Okay. Got it. Thought it was these plants here. I see one right there. Rude. Let's see. I didn't check up here. Yeah. Maybe we'll go check where the roses are. Nope. Alright. These guys do attack. But it's not too, too bad. Dude, these things are really, like, spread out hidden. No look there. Not here. There's one. Two more. Maybe they're behind a tree? I feel like the game wouldn't be that mean though. You know? Like usually they're kinder than that. find it. If someone sees a thing I'm missing, please tell me. Cause I'm not seeing it. Nope, they're not in here. I didn't think they would be, I just thought I'd give it a shot. Cause if they're not here, I'm gonna have to cut down the trees and hope this that I find one. It's so weird. Usually stuff isn't this hard to find. Definitely gonna have to cut down trees. Oh, 
Maybe they spawn over more than one day. Hmm. Let me Google it. Potion, permit, winter, carrot. Let's see here. There are five for you to uproot. One is along the path to the cold blooms. I saw that. Grows among the orchids. A short walk northeast of the cable car. Don't know if we got that one. Found it. Alright. Um, short walk south west of the Glees Iceberg fast travel point. Travel point southwest. Oh, this one. North southwest is this way. Aha! There we go. How to use a guide, I just wasn't finding them. Sometimes I do that just because, like, if you can't find something in a game, there's a certain point where you can just look it up. Yeah, everything we need. Now let's get started. Do you think this will work? Trust me, all the horses I know are gonna go crazy for these carrots. You speak their language, Luck? Hey, I see something. I need to wait until she's eaten the carrots. Quiet now. Yes, she took the bait. Let's hurry. Hey, where have you been all this time? See, I told you that she'd come for the carrots. Well, I'm glad that we got her back. Thank you for the help, guys. Let's head back together. Okay. Dove's place. And then we have to craft a blade tonic, which we haven't bothered with yet. We'll go to Dove's place first. Is everything okay now? Yep, I fixed the roof. It wasn't too much effort. There's a tiny crack at the edge of it. I'm glad the roof is still in one piece. It was leaking terribly when it rained and that was worrying me. Where did the crack in the roof come from? I think it was Dan messing about with his pirate stuff. We better put all his belongings somewhere safe then. I, I will. Well, if you need anything else, just pop around in the shop. Will do. Thanks, Rainer. Okay. Ooh, he's back home. I can hear him. He has a very distinctive, loud voice. <laughs> I like it. Little oh boy. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. I think you're not hungry. I'm very hungry. Oh, now. So you want me to put it in now? Please. Okay. Love you. I'm just making chicken. 
That's okay. I like chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's nothing complicated. No pizzas tomorrow, Admiral. I don't want pizza tomorrow. I want curry. We were talking about curry. And now I need our cur the curry. Oh, it's curry tomorrow, not... Yeah, I'm getting curry tomorrow. It's just chimkin. Sleepy. So, this is the potion you're talking about? Let's find out if it works. If Sue was telling the truth, I should be able to lift this now. Hey, Saikon, how's it going? Are you sure you can lift it all by yourself? We're about to find out. Wow, you really did move every one of the packages by yourself. See, told you I was strong. So this potion really worked. It's only temporary, right? Holy. This potion bo boosted your strength. You should thank them for helping us out. Yeah, thanks to the potion, it really helped. Maybe I could have a couple more, couple more sometime to compete with my brother. Yeah, I'm I'm a little sick. Um, I'm getting over it right now though. You worked twenty hours yesterday, got four hours of sleep, worked eight hours, got an hour of sleep, and now. Uh, on hour three of work again? Jeez. That's too much. That's way too much. For me, I just caught something and I actually came down with it on Wednesday's stream. Is there a way you can like lower your hours? Yeah, I was like in bed most of the day yesterday, but I'm doing better today. So, yeah. And Subway and I, Subway's making me food right now. Yeah, the way these are is the ID emergency. Um, yeah, I remember my dad having moments like that. She has lumps on her mouth, oxygen deprivation on her chest, and something's wrong with her left foot. Poor thing. Okay, left, left. Left, down, right. There's stiffness in her foot. Poor thing. We got a battle to do. But yeah, no. Nah. It happens, people get sick. I haven't been sick in a really long time, so I'm kind of surprised it took this long, to be honest. So guys, we have a necromancer skin on the way, and I'm so excited. It's so cute. Ah, can't wait.
Can it? No, it's Necromancer. We decided to go for Necromancer because um, we could come up with a much cuter design for Necromancer. And we saw Gladiator and we're just like, anything we come up with, like, probably won't be that different to the Suturian. And we wanted something that kind of, like, adds to the fleet, if that makes sense. So that's how we chose what we're adding. Suboy helped me pick. The art's already like in existence. We're just waiting for uh, it to like finish up. Like we have to wait for them to animate it. Mecha is a good choice. Gladiator's still back bit backed up and they aren't releasing any until the stream team have theirs out oh really yeah i'm not on the stream team i am a partner but i'm not on the stream team so it's probably a good thing i didn't go for it um i don't really have any good pieces for this um, let's try to get this shell here, and then that shell. So we need the shell from up here, and the one in here. I think it's the armadillo one. Your team only requires having done a skin -a and being partner. Wait, really? Because then I just have to do a skin -a and I was gonna um, reach out and ask to do it. Um, for my four-year stream anniversary, but, like, I don't know if that's gonna happen before, like, I don't know if my skin's gonna be out by then, because my four-year stream anniversary is November 11th. Ah, here's the armadillo boy. Go. That's what I needed from him, and then we can go up here. Looking for those gold bugs. Here we are. Yeah, that gave me the shape I needed. I didn't have the shape I needed for this one. So you can put this in. And we can put this in. And then this. And we just need two of these. Oh boy. This one's an adventure. Okay. Um, we'll start with the like straight up and down bit, which we can do with that. Then we need to take care of those shapes. Which I don't actually have any of those. Um, what's an easy one to go get? We have this one. We could just use this plus one of these. Then we need to use two more of these. I'm using all of these that I, and I need these for my quest. <laughs> Feels bad. Then I can put this in and then we can use this. There we go. That's so much of the- oh wait, it wasn't actually a sap I needed. Heck yeah. It's worth looking up to be sure. 
They adjust things all the time you're not familiar? No, that's fair. Um... What was I gonna say? But yeah, I, they're working on developing the uh, skin right now. I don't know how far in advance you have to plan a skin on though. But like, there's no point in having it done if the necro isn't done at that point, you know? One week minimum notice. Okay, so if it isn't done the week before um, my stream anniversary, then we won't be doing it that way. Which is totally fine. Be fun to have on my stream anniversary, you know? Oh, she did? That's funny. Actually, I just finished my tea. Alright. Over here. Okay, I'll get you some juicy meat, Sue boy. There we go. We got some juicy meat, so now you should be good to pour me water, right? Uh, I'm not funny. Okay. We named the dog in this game, Sue boy. And I just fed you juicy meat too, so obviously I deserve water. So. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I don't make the rules. I just follow them, obviously. There's not enough small trees. Feels bad. We almost- oh wait, no, no, no. If this one gives it, we'll finish the quest. If it doesn't, then we don't finish the quest. It did! He finally finished his quest off, man. Water, thank you! Great. Great, now I can get to work on Aunt Mars request right away. What's all this, Otmar? I didn't ask for me ship to be fixed. Otmar did all this, and Otmar dedicated it to Liano. But fixing a ship with this big isn't cheap. How do you get the money? Otmar saved money since Otmar opened the beach cafe. You should have kept the money for yourself. No, Otmar always wished to repay Liana for what she done for Otmar all this time. Otmar always hoped Otmar can help Liano at Otmar's best. It's not Otmar, but Liano and Raynor and Sui. That's just too much, but hey, thanks a lot, Otmar. You're the best. Thank you for helping, Otmar, everyone. 
Oh, that's wholesome. The ship has been fixed. Whew. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, look at that. It's not perfect, but it's good. It's unbelievable. Wow. Thank you so much, you guys. Otmar did all this, and Otmar dedicated it to, dedicated it to Liano. Amara's all the way friends. Okay. Um. I'll go check what the uh, requests are at the moment in the game. Okay. Wait, Monday to Sunday, 12 to 20. Okay. This way. I have a bit of sore throat. Nope. I'd do something about it, but like, eh. I'm gonna have food soon. How long till dinner, Sue Boy? How long till dinner? But I thought you you started it. You have a timer. Do I have a check? Oh. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Forty-five. I'm trying to figure out if I ha should have a cough drop or not. Seven. Okay. Sui, you're here. I'm sorry. I know it's silly. Have you seen a briefcase around? The briefcase is made of leather and looks brand new. You must have dropped it around town, but I can't remember. Remember what I've been doing since morning? Well, the last thing I remember doing was sitting near the cliff, getting some fresh air. Do you see my briefcase somewhere? Please let me know. Okay. That shouldn't be hard. I'm surprised those people who managed to get to the end credits before they got to, uh... Like, through the whole story. Because I've been in this past the story, but not at the end credits stage for a really long time. Oh, if it ain't the chemist from the Medical Cool Association. What are you doing with me, treasure chest, eh? You here for that leather briefcase? Not me gold. Put yourself, matey. Take that boring briefcase with you. That's right. I took that briefcase from him. And I'd do it again. You know why? Because he needs a break from that boring post office job. His mind is always worrying about delivering, posting, whatever. Give me a break. Don't tell me that I don't care about the boring old dev. A good captain like me always takes care of the crew, yar. Games are like, welcome to our game. We're at 30 seconds in and here are 40 combos we can do. Are you playing a fighting game? Because that sounds like a fighting game. Suboy just paused his video and looked over when I said fighting game. Night. You're not playing it anymore? What game was it?
You don't have to learn every single combo. You can just learn like one for now and then move on, you know? Wait, you found it? I want to take a closer look at it. Unsold. Do you know that one, Suboy? He doesn't know of that one. Yeah, this is my briefcase. Kodan was behind this. Why do you do such a thing? He's so troublesome. Pardon? Alana, thank you so much for that raid. How's your stream? How's your stream? Welcome on in, Bob Gobo. Hello, Blue Squid. And dig up stupid. Hello, hello, Infinity. Hi. Hello, everyone. It's so good to see you all. And thank you for giving that shout out. That was you, right, Sue Boy? Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, was it? Oh, it was good. Ah, uh, exciting. Um, I'm not feeling 100%, so I didn't want to start anything new. So I'm just uh, finishing up Potion Permit. Hey, Yad, how's it going? Ooh, that sounds sick. I think that's... I think you've actually managed to put in a unique spelling for Sue Boy. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Alana gave you a unique spelling. There are many... The lines are falling. There are too many. What? You're curious, but you get that? Yeah. You overthought the spell like too? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, there's, there's how you say... That's how you type it. <laughs> but yeah, welcome on in everyone. I'm a little under the weather today. Um, so we're just kind of having a chill, more relaxing stream. I've been really obsessed with uh, Project Zomboid lately. And I'm running a streamer server on Project Zomboid starting on Monday, which I'm super excited for. Um, we're gonna have um, chicken. Soup's a lot of effort. <laughs> I keep s saving for a stream or should you buy three giveaways? I don't know. It's up to you. Well, it might be a while till I actually get to it if you do say for a stream, just saying. Like, I currently have one that's on the <laughs> on the docket and I just haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, no, I'm slightly sick. Um, I came down with it on Wednesday. And... Yeah. I was in bed most of the day yesterday. Then get up to like 8 p.m. But I'm doing better today. You're stressing because of your upcoming move? Oh, I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. Anyway. Oh, I should introduce myself. Hi, I'm Suey. Um, recently graduated university. Um, I organize a lot of events. So the Vermont Hot Potato is being organized right now. Um, Alana was in it last year, I believe. I believe last year was your first year, yeah? Yeah, last year was Alana's first year. Um, I'm organizing a Project Zomboid streamer server, which will be starting on Monday. Um, and then yeah, I stream a large variety of games, though I'm like really obsessed with Project Zomboid right now. He's trying to tell me to take a break. Actually, I've been feeling tired lately. And also, if anyone in here isn't following Alana yet, she's super wholesome. And and she's she's like still streaming a ton and she's a mother. Like recent mother. Like she has an infant. And it's I don't know how she's managing to do that. Honestly, it's like mind blowing to me because I feel like that would be so much you know, last year was your first year as a streamer, but you watched a few potato events before you started streaming. Okay. Okay. It's a lot. Having a really good partner helps a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, like, I will be so grateful for Sue Boy when that eventually happens. Not that it's anytime soon. 
Oh, I'm already incredibly grateful for you. I'm just saying I'll feel it like threefold at that point. <laughs> Come on, just said soup when we get ready. Mom could tell you. Is it just chicken strips? What is it? It's just chicken. Okay. Get you a dip if you want it. Mm, mm, mm. We don't have a dip I want. Got your sriracha. I ain't dipping my chicken in sriracha, Sue boy. It's way too spicy. All you do is put a couple drops in soup. No, no, I don't want dip. I don't want dip. Soup? Soup? No potions. Emo totally supports your room world addiction. See, Suboy totally just supports my love for gaming. But, uh, he can't really talk because he likes gaming just as much as me. So. I don't want zip. You'll take some chicken? A. Hey, go get food, Alana, if you haven't yet. Potions are not soup! Ah. Actually, I've been feeling tired recently. I thought he never paid attention to other people. Okay, so the cat's not mad at you. No, he's not mad at anyone. Okay. Uh, who's responsible for the Proto Zomboid? Uh, that was Andy for gifting me the game. My mod, Andy. That was his fault. He gifted it to me. I didn't have it prior to him gifting it to me recently. Alana's just playing Rimworld offline. We, yeah, I can see that. Okay, okay, lurk. And don't feel obligated to come back, you hear me? If you want to chill out and you do not want to come back, don't come back. You hear me? Because I very rarely come back to streams after stream. Superboy <laughs> needs to stream the new Rimworld DLC. He doesn't even... He doesn't even play Rimworld. He doesn't even own it. Still he does that on days ending in Y. <laughs> I thought he never paid attention to other people. Well, maybe I need to listen to him from now on. I'd better start taking care of myself before Dan pulls another of his pranks. But Dan isn't that bad after all, and that's good to know. Anyway, thanks for your help, Suey. <laughs> All right, have a good one, Alana. Okay, I think we've finished all the quests that we currently have, so we're gonna have to go chat with people to friend up. Because we have to increase the friendship. He will now, he doesn't even own it. You can't make someone play a game they don't even own. You know? Suwa so doesn't have time for games, he gonna... What? 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 Oh, you can all... Excuse me? Are you, are you calling me the man in the relationship? Is that what's going on? Paul. <laughs> 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 Nah, we won't be able to do that. We probably won't even, like, look into a child until, you know, marriage happens first. And we're a while away from that. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I could see it. Well, Suboy's not here right now, so I can say it. I could see, like, marriage happening within a year or so. Or, like, at least a proposal happening, at, like, in a year. Roughly, I could see that happening. But, cause, like, we've been dating for three years. And we've been living together for a year. 
The forest can't get closer. Oh, it wasn't forest I was looking at. It must have been a garret. You know, like, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, but... How long has he been subbed? Well, his Suboy account has only been subbed for so long, but uh, that account has only existed for a few months. I know, I have to get a job first. <laughs> That's the first step in everything. I need to get us into like a stable um, home and everything. Because we live in a uh, trailer at the moment. On Suboy's grandma's property. Okay, I have babies on my mud sub. <laughs> it's a year already? It's been over a year, yeah. I moved in with Suboy September of 2021. Suboy brought me food. Okay. Um. Oh, she's sick. Okay. We already talked to Liano today. We can go talk to Martha. What happened? Oh no! My space is dirty. I fixed it. Thank you. Hey, Jack, sleep well. Sleep well. And I do appreciate you leaving the lurk while you sleep. It really does make a difference and really does help. Oh, the cat's coming from upstairs. Oh, the cat's voice acted here. Well, I said your Suboy account has only been subbed for a couple months. Suboy account hasn't been subbed, has been subbed like, not all. Isn't it subbed right now? No. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. It's gifted a sub. Yeah, it was gifted a sub. No, it gifted a sub. Oh, it gifted a sub. My bad. Okay. I, really quickly, need to use the restroom. I'll be like 30 seconds, guys. I've been drinking a lot of tea this stream to try and like help myself feel better and yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I'm not good at knowing what details to give and what not to, okay? Mmm. You made it extra crunchy for me. Hey, get back here. <laughs> you 
you see Kipster's son? Hmm. Wow, it's just fast. Looks like Martha forgot to close the door. Just took my secret recipe book upstairs. Oh, hey, that's my recipe book. That was lucky. Nobody's seen it. But wait, you didn't read my book, did you? <laughs> Fine, I'm making a different recipe from now on. Oh, sick. Okay. So boy, can you put on eco please? I'm freezing. Thank you. Have yummy dinner. It's better than normal too. Does Alana still do stream readers? I think she did for a while, right? Or am I completely misremembering? I'm just gonna have my character go to bed. Num noms. Yeah. Sorry I'm not talking a ton, I'm eating. I needed food in my body, I was very hungry. Did you purposely make it crunchy, Sue Boy? <laughs> you spoil me. You like it not crunchy? Do you like it crunchy? Yeah.
Do I really need to bother with these? I mean... Mm, it does save time in the long run. Alright. I really have no sap. Of course I don't. Of course. Do I have a shape that I can make this work with without sap? No. I do not. <laughs> he called me out for it. <laughs> Someone is very content with their image. Mm -hmm. I thought about it, but I thought race would be too much. Mm -hmm. Alright. There, that's probably enough. There we go. This one. Well, I'm the opposite direction. You know the direction I want? I do. And then a three across. That's a four across. A. Hey. The problem with that is like, I don't know if I have enough single dots. No, I don't. I need a three across and then a two across. And then beyond that, no, I'm just gonna need more, more sap. That's okay. We'll go here. And cut down trees. Rude, that tree didn't even give me sap. Absolutely rude. The annoying thing about this game is like sap is really necessary for crafting a lot of the times. And uh, it's annoying to gather. At least all the trees in this area do give sap or can give sap at least, you know, it does make a difference. So much wood now. I need to go gathering a uh, stone. Thing is, I never bother with it because all we're doing is like friendship level ups right now. There we go. I just have two more trees to chop down. 
Rude. Rude again. Okay, that should be enough. remember how I was handling this. <laughs> like so. <laughs> Boom. You're nerve by food. doing this is it gives us a resource called moon clothes which like increases the friendship with people by a lot so it like lets us speed through this a bit faster oh. so 15 to 2100 Sandra. But yeah, I'm just slowly looking for people and talking to them. Thank you for feeding me, Sue Boy. We'll see if it's currently Dan or Dev. Nope. I'm going to go over to Garrett. They're all here. I should give Mercy a, um... Moon clove. See, that's several days of work just taking care of in one go. This might actually get her the rest of the way. Nope. There we go. We already talked to her. We'll check where Luck is right now. And we'll go talk to um, Liano and Otmar. I think we finished with Otmar. Yeah. So it's just Liano now. Liano. We said Liana was here. He is not. Suboy light. Or maybe I just went. I think I just went without even asking Suboy. Alright, Suboy, where is. Where is she on the list? Liano. Over here. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, eating food has actually made me feel so much better. 
I know, I forget that I need to eat sometimes. That's probably partially why I've gained weight while living here. It's just Suboy reminds me that eating is something I kind of have to do. It's important. <laughs> need to survive. I would prefer you survive. Like chat. Chat prefers you survive. Alright. Where is... Martha? There. Oh, I, I did not go in the same direction as Sue Boy. Whoops. Alana, you need to eat, girly. Also, don't mind me playing one-handed while I eat. <laughs> Feed soup boy. Oh, I press the wrong button. No. You don't know I'm playing one-handed fair enough, but I'm eating, so. Very good food, though. I don't know if I said hi to Rue yet. Alright, I should be good eating for not eating for a little while now. I ate a significant amount of chicken. It's a very long walk. Alright. So we found Rue. So Celia is the next one we go for. Remember this way? I'm getting the friendship up with everyone. No. Nope. We're working on Victor still. And that's only other one here. So, Sue Boy, tell me where Victor is. Dude, I love this mechanic where you have your dog tell you where villagers are. It's so nice. All right. So we'll have a new quest in the morning. Don't know how long it will take or how hard it will be. 
but we will have a new quest. Which is good, because it usually takes a while for the villagers to all wake up. 15, 10, 15, okay. We'll go gather some stone while we wait. Try and get our hammer upgraded already. You know, I didn't mean to attack you, but I guess I have to kill you now. Man, just a little food can make you feel so much better when you're not feeling well. It's kind of crazy. It's so nice. Surprised I didn't actually attack that thing there. But yeah, we have to wait till like 8 or 9 in game for all the villagers to be awake. Oh, it's a Sunday. They are really late on Sunday. Sleepy. Are you guys sleepy? Because I'm sleepy. Here. I'm gonna go grab the, um, wait, Sue boy, the cough drops are uh, in the bedroom, right? Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna go find the cough drops real fast, chat. Please, chat, but my throat is sore. I like the really intense cough drops too. I remember my mom always got the candy like ones and I was just like, mom, this is just candy. It doesn't help. And she was just like, hee hee, it tastes like candy. And I'm like, mom, it doesn't help. You know? I'm not tabbed in. No, I am tabbed in. Why are my buttons not working? Okay. Okay, let me tab out and back in. There we go. Alright. Go ahead. Here. Okay, we should be good to go back to like town and work on befriending people. So we'll start by talking to Cassandra. She might still be asleep. Nah, she's just on the couch. Chilling out. Chilling like a villain. Check if he's in Dan mode right now. He is not. Okay, we'll go find Laura. I have to go so far down the list right now because there's so many quests but like I can't do them yet because it's not late enough in the day. Um, 
after Laura is Liano. Which, I'll just have Suboy tell me where Liano is. You do know where everyone is. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 it's late enough that we can do our quests now. Um... This one. Go to the farmhouse. Easy enough. We can do that request. There you are, Suey. I feel so much better now that I've had a cough drop. Not again, Mercy. And food, yeah. Just try this once, Garrett. It won't hurt. I'm so sorry about calling you here. It's about my husband, Garrett. I had a potion recipe from a distant cousin who said it could treat Garrett. The recipe seems complicated. That's why you're here to help. Here's the recipe. My my, where did I put that recipe? I'm sure it was in my pocket. I know, right, Aura? Also, shouldn't you be asleep, Aurora? Please wait. Maybe I left it upstairs. I think he doesn't want to be fixed, you know? Look, I know what that woman wanted when she called you here. She kept searching for a way to get me up from this chair. I understand her attention, but it's just impossible. Things happened, and we can't turn back time because we want to. I wish you'd just accept me for who I am now. So, what if she asks you to do? Just do it. I'll play along for now. Sorry for the wait. I left it in my drawer. Silly me. Here's the recipe. I hope you can make it. You took a nap? Okay, okay. That's good. After you're done, please come see me again. My husband and I would be very, very grateful. Alright. It's a crafting thing rather than a brewing thing, which worries me. Oops. Oh no, it's here. Okay. Ooh, that's a big potion. Okay. Well, I'll get started on it then. None of my three crosses are available. I have one of those. Um. I'm just attempting things and seeing what happens right now. Okay, I don't have that shape, which is really too bad. Hmm. This if I did this, then I could do that, and then I need two, three crosses, which I can do with these. Okay. But yeah, Aurora, we're just finishing the game right now. I'm not feeling the best today. I was sick yesterday. That's how it goes. Wait, that was rude. I'm gonna murderize you for that. Plus, that's a nice cheap object anyway. There you go. That's all I need. Nice thing about this game. Whenever things don't match... You can just go out and get the stuff to make a match. There you go. Done. Now take me to mercy.
Okay. Potion ready? Let's serve it to Garrett immediately. How's it, dear? How do you feel? This thing, you mean? Well, it tastes like chicken soup. Do you feel any better? Feel nothing, Mercy. It's just chicken soup. Mercy, enough! Th that's okay, we can try another one. Hey, Suey, I still have other recipes for you to. You heard me, I said enough is enough. But, Garrett. Mercy, you have to listen to me. It happened, and I can never go back to being my former self. What do you mean? I'm trying to help you. I won't just give up. You're the one who's running away from reality, Mercy. No, we are not having this conversation. Don't you run away and be a coward, Garrett. We all know. The accident changed me. W what I just want to move forward to accept reality and be grateful I'm still alive. As long as I have you, Locke, and Laura. That's all that matters to me. But, but dear, can we finally stop talking about the past and start moving forward together, Mercy? Thank you, Mercy. Don't live in the past. There will be better days from now on. Yes, dear, I'll try. Oh. We can talk to him. Oh, we actually uh finished that. Alright, battle time. I love how we have this very nice square here. I have a Discord ping. What's up? No, it's nothing important. Okay. I'm like watching for hot potato stuff pretty closely because I'm gonna be sending that out. You know? Aurora in my DMs, nothing important. <laughs> I mean it, I swear. such a massive battlefield. <laughs> this is absurd. Also, we forgot to look at the store and buy scrolls. Let's refresh this. <laughs> we have so much money in game. Oh, our paladin is, um, we have a paladin skin. We need to make sure to open, like, put it on. That's a new thing as of today. Oh, we. Oh, Paladin skin. See that? Suey Paladin. As of today. Whoever buys it will be the first to have it. Alright, let's go ahead and see over here. It's 1200 right now. I can't do either of these. These are both 1500, so we'll go over to where Liana usually is and have Suey tell us exactly where she is. Oh. 
Andy doesn't have it yet? I don't think so. Maybe he got it before I knew. Let me see. Let me see. I can look. Um, I just have to go to streamingreaders.com to see it. To get to what I want to see. Uh, streamer tools. Then... Uh, activity feed. Yeah, no, Andy hasn't bought it. Okay. This is the next person. Martha. Yeah, Andy didn't buy it yet, so you could beat Andy to it. He's probably fallen victim to Rimworld too. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Sounds like everyone's having a really good time with the DLC. Okay, Theo. He's always over here. But yeah, there's a lot of people who have fallen victim to the new RimWorld DLC. There you go. Let's see here. Let's go find Rue. Oh, it's 1500 in game, so as soon as I pass by one of those boards, we'll be good to go. I'll wait to pass by one naturally. We might as well chat with these people, you know? Oh, there's a board right here. Hold on. Okay, so Willow Water's bathhouse or. We'll go to Marielle's place. We'll see, is Rue in the direction of that? Because Rue might be at Marielle's place right now. She's not. She's closer to the bathhouse. I have a feeling she's on the cliff based off Subway's direction here. I'm definitely on the cliff. Go over to the bathhouse. Here. It's Victor. Thank you. Hello again. <laughs> Sister Cecilia asked me to keep quiet at night because Rusa kept being disturbed while asleep. But it wasn't me, it's Amadeus. He felt uneasy because he found another friend trapped there. Her name is Matilda. Matilda said she wanted to leave, but her anger was making it hard for her to move on. So Amadeus said she needed a special aromatic candle from the church to calm herself down. If she's finally at peace, she can be reborn. I already asked Cecilia about it, but she didn't believe us. But you believe us, don't you? I know you do. Amadeus likes you very much. <laughs> I've already written down what kind of candle Amadeus wants from you. Here, the recipe. Can you make it? 
Good, good. <laughs> I know we can rely on you. Come see me again after you're done making the candle. Amadeus also said good luck. All right, so we need to research it. Easy enough. Right here. Well, that was fast. Alright. Oh my. I expected that to be an easy one, and instead they're just like, hee hee, no, not easy. I need two of these. Mm hmm. I need two of the armadillo pelts. It's okay, it's not hard to get them. I just have to put in the effort. I call them armadillos. I don't think they actually are. There's only the one right there. We'll have to go the other way now. Since we need a second one. There you go. And we can go back to our house. We should be able to make this potion now because we can do this. And then we can do this. And assuming I have enough of this. <laughs> of course I don't. Where do you get this kind of bluish one with the dot? Like teal blue one with a dot on it. I believe it's an early on one. Yeah, it's the first one, so it's gonna be in the area over there. I believe it's the trees that look kind of like pine trees. These ones. Mm -mm, these ones. I go, that's all I need. Now we can craft the Where Victor is. Give me the candle. <laughs> Let's see. Follow me. I smell something burning. What's going on? you, sister. Please don't worry, it's just us testing the new candle. Candle. The candle that I asked you for earlier, but you refused. <laughs> How did you get that? Our chemist here made it for us. Amadeus likes the chemist a lot. Sui, are you out of your mind? 
Don't listen to Victor. He sometimes asks for weird requests like that. There is no such spirit, neither here nor anywhere else. We need to believe in the gods. Remove that candle immediately. It's dangerous. The smoke can cause pollution or even worse. You might bring this building down. Okay, sister. I got rid of it. I should be fine now. My goodness, I'm glad to hear that. Please don't do it again. And you too, Sui. Please think twice before helping Victor. Can you wrap this up early? Hey, why the long face? You know, I'm gonna do you, Sid. Matilda's finally leaving. Yeah, I can feel it too. She isn't here anymore. You did a chemist. Thanks. I'm gonna use said thank you too. Go. So, Cecilia is gonna be the next person to find. There we go. And after that, it's gonna be a Victor. And then Zeke's already maxed out on friendship, from what I know. Done. Oh, it's still 2100. Okay. We will go over to Mariel's, please. We should be able to get there in time. We will get a quest. Hmm, I just can't find it anywhere. Oh dear, do you remember the last time you had the pocket watch with you? I I think I must have left my pocket watch by Mateo's house. I went to his house yesterday. But what if I dropped it somewhere else? Or maybe I left it in the bathhouse? Oh, Suey, this might seem silly, but have you seen my pocket watch? Maybe somewhere around the potion house or clinic? Maybe I left it somewhere. I'll try to check every nook and cranny in my house. But would it be possible for you to check Matteo's place or the Willow Waters bathhouse? Alrighty. And then people are probably asleep at this point in game. So I'll move us over to the next in game day. I don't have to finish this quest in the evening, you know? So we'll have to wait for Mateo to be awake to actually talk to him. Alright. I'll check really fast too to see if we got any more um, quests that we can do. Nope. Okay. So, I'll spend, like, an hour in game over here. Oops. I'm just getting rocks. Dude, you literally walked into me and now you're angry? Animals here are rude. All right. I think I purposely attacked him. He walked into the area I was working. Oh, 
Yep. So I'm just gathering stone because I might as well. We have to waste time anyway. And money's not an issue, stone is. I've taken a lot of damage, but I don't really care to be honest. Almost at a. We're at a good amount of stone, so we can probably upgrade our hammer at this point. Um. Let's go ahead and see if Matteo's awake. How out of the way his place is. It's annoying. Meyer asked you to look for his pocket watch near my place. Let me let's go to my place then. What do you mean you're only ever at your place? You search outside, I'll look in for it inside my house. What game is this? This is potion permit. Um, I've already completed the main story and we're just doing like little uh relationship or like friendship increase events right now I'm trying to get to the um like credits i can't find what you're looking for did you find anything around the garden then it isn't here if you're done i have other matters to attend to please excuse me all right And we'll go to the port over here. Now, Olive isn't always right there, so... We'll go ahead and do it this way. Looks like she is there right now, but she's not always. A pocket watch? Ah, yeah, we found one earlier. Wait here. Here it is. This must be the pocket watch you mentioned. It was wrapped under a bath blanket. Luckily, it didn't end up in the washing machine. Please give it back to its owner. Love the chill vibe, yeah. I'm not feeling 100% today, so I'm going for something more chill. You know? I normally do a lot of Project Zomboid at the moment. Though I'm wanting to, like, finish this game up so I can also check out Potionomics, so. Yeah. Alright. We got Laura to the next level. Alright. We found my little pocket watch. Thank you so much. Where did you find it? Please tell me. I see. So it wasn't Matthew's place, but instead the Willow's Water Bathhouse. 
and it almost ended up in the washing machine. Thankfully that didn't happen. I should take care of this watch more carefully. This, it was a gift from my father when I was a little kid. Every time I look at it, it always reminds me of him in an old Moonberry town. He worked hard as the mayor. He continually listened to the townsfolk and took note of their daily problem. He was such a big inspiration for me. I can never complete with, compete with the level of care he showed for this town. But I promised him I'd continue his work. So I'll do my very best to change this town for the better. And you were right too, Chemist. It feels like fate has led me to this point. The townsfolk and I are glad to have you here. Let's make this town an even better place, do we? So, since we don't have any quests we can do today, we'll go ahead and try and get to the next level of friendship with everyone as our first priority. So that just means going and talking with a bunch of people that we're still working on and then going to bed. <laughs> Though I will stop by the blacksmith real soon, right after we talk to Cassandra. It's just the boy's already tracking her, so I might as well go after her. <laughs> there you go. So now we'll go over to the blacksmith. Just because I want to get my uh, hammer to the max level. There you go. Oh, it costs it like no stone. Mm. Let's do the health expansion. There you go, we'll do it again. Till we're out of stone. Okay, we happen to come across Mercy there. Wait, I don't have this memorized, so talk to Cassandra, check if Dan is in Dan mode. Nope. Um oh, Liano. The list we're like nearly a hundred percent on people. I expected to actually get to the title screen before now. You know? Who's next? We can talk to Luck. He's probably over here though, so let's go ahead and teleport. Just because there's no point in like making the run longer than we have to make it, you know? Martha's turn. Yeah, we're pretty, we're getting there. Oh, I didn't want Matteo. I wanted Martha. We already talked to Matteo today. She's right there by Rue. That actually is pretty useful. Because we're working on Rue too. There you go. 
So our main civil characters are taking so long because uh, they have like an extra bar to go through. All right, talk to her. So we just have Cecilia left. Oop, not Russo. There we go. That was a pretty quick thing. I did play all of Graveyard Keeper, actually. I really liked it. It's a very good game. Sadly, I played through it before I did a Vault Archive of games. I think the most recent um, DLC is on my YouTube, but nothing beyond that. Go ahead and do the tending. Only helps us with uh, being more efficient anyway. Down, left, down, left. Left, down, left, left. Left, oh, down, left, right, right. There we go. <laughs> oh, my brain was so confused for a minute there. Up, up, right, down. Up, left, left, left. Right, left, down, right. There you go. And we'll make the potions he needs. Yeah, I could see that. I actually play a lot of games like that, so... <laughs> yeah, it's just a genre I tend to stick to a lot. I mean, lately I've not necessarily stuck to it too, too hard. Because I've been playing a lot of Project Zomboid, which is a um, totally different genre, I will admit. <laughs> um... Dang, I don't think I have the shape I want. It's okay. I'll uh, do this one. And then... A piece of sap. Another game? Gravekeeper? -y? Wait, Gravekeeper versus... Oh. <laughs> no, I thought you were talking about... An a whole other game you like to support indie game devs that one looks good uh yeah that one was really good i really enjoyed it all right let's go ahead and do our stream readers battle real quick chicken beef or pork always chicken it's healthier for you and I think it's the tastiest. And it's, it's the hardest to mess up, in my opinion, as long as you don't, like, cause someone food poisoning or salmonella. Mmm. For a birthday meal, you go steak. For a birthday meal, you like chicken. Well, I want chicken, but I'm weird. You want to impress someone with a birthday meal? You go steak, because that's the most expensive. Yeah. When, well, lobster wasn't an option, see boy. <laughs> or just take them to, like, a smokehouse or a steakhouse and let them order what they want. 
girlfriend's mom's birthday? Well, if it's your girlfriend's mom, you gotta think about how old she is. Does she have any tooth pain? If she does, you gotta be really careful not to make your meat too tough, otherwise it might be hard for her. So then, chicken might be the safe option. You're cooking it? Okay. Well, depending on if she's a bit- if she's older or has tooth issues, you're gonna want to give her chicken. Yeah, you could also probably ask your girlfriend what her mom's favorite thing is. Which is, you know, probably the safer option. As Sue Boy said. That's what we do. Or you guys do just ask. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate it. She's old as you? But you said it's your girlfriend's mom's birthday. So your girlfriend's mom is the same age as you. Okay. I, I don't know how old you are. You know, for all I know, you're 18. That'd be really sus. Then why is your girlfriend zero? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, why is your girlfriend so much younger? Younger. Wait. Her mom is thirty-six. That's that's quite an age gap. If they're happy, let them be happy, Sue Boy. You don't need to be judgy. Um. Okay. Anyway. And then you're probably fine to just go with like the steak. Since it steak costs more money, so it's thought of as more prestigious what I'd do. <laughs> if I didn't know what to do, that's what I'd do. I'd just go for the more prestigious one. Because that's better. That's more likely to get a good impression. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really, like, deal with stuff like that. You know? Uh, need a two up. Ooh, true Aurora, true. The chicken's cooked with good spices. Then go for chicken. I also just really like chicken, and so does Aurora. So we're kind of biased. <laughs> At the end of the day, it depends what the person you're cooking for prefers. <laughs> you know, completely, um... Completely a side note. No relevance. So I want to go get one of those bears from the glaze iceberg. I believe there's one up here. Nope, that's a wolf. That's another not bear. It's another not bear. I just want to find a bear to fight. That's a wolf. That's a standing wolf. I know there's a bear somewhere here. <laughs> Where's the bear at? How did I like go right past him? Very confused. How did I manage this? There's some that spawns over here. 
just walked through the whole area without finding one. Ow. Double check? No, I know there's not one there. I'm after you real quick. No, I'm not bullying bears. Hey, I just need their pelt. That's all. You don't think there's a bear there? Look. Maybe it's not the... Hmm. Maybe I have the wrong mob in mind? Maybe you drop it? Oh, you drop it. Okay. There we go. I figured it out. Okay. So back to this potion here. Honestly, Watcher, just do, do, um, whatever you are the most confident cooking and you think you have the best recipe for. That's probably the best thing to do. Okay, so, right, we have quests today. What time do they start at? Apparently 9.40 in the game. Ooh, we can do this one right here. Oh, we didn't actually end up doing that one. The one we did was something totally different. It's just, I don't want to stay at home. Is there something bad going on in your house? My papa and mama got in a fight, and I don't know what to do. Yes, a face fell over when they're fighting just now. I'm scared. But families are complicated things. But was the fight really that bad? I want to fix it, but I don't know how. Fix the vase. That's so nice of you, Sui. I do actually spy. We have a license in this game. Thank you very much. You're interested in this broken vase to you, Sui. Okay, gotta go deliver it to Rainer. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, this works. Beyond that, we have the church. Let's go ahead and do that one too. Oh, we can buy it. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this recital. This beautiful morning, I was singing a song for our gods. Hey, I'm so sorry. Oh, poor thing. I can't do it. Please forgive me, dear gods. Do 
sorry, my voice, I can't get it out. Let me do a little one of these. Left. It's just a single one. <laughs> it's funny. But yes, we must think. There's no problem with my voice? No way. I clearly can't get my voice out. You'll make a cure for me? Thank you so much. Good gracious. Also, don't mind me snacking. How's the spy? How's it going? It's so good to see you. Alright. It looks like Rainer's not here. Ooh! I'm glad you enjoyed your movie, Spy. What was it about? May I fix a broken vase? Let me take a closer look. Yep, I can fix this. But I need you to find something for me first. Spy, that movie could be like political. It could be a um action movie. It could be one of those like big brain movies. A mystery, that's what those are called. So <laughs> was just looking at me like you don't know what a mystery is called. me like that stop I'm looking at chat oh my chat is right here action suspense is about snipers oh okay it, it's very intense very brutal no problem i'll help you out it does not throw punches you really like your gory stuff no it does punch at the end oh Sui, great timing, partner. Nia's lost an important pack doge, but he's in luck because we're here to help. Where did you lose it? Oh, arcade. Yep, that should be a good place to start. Right, there must be some clues at the arcade center. Let's go, Sui. You can help me with this case. It's a Detective Russo's first. Onwards. Cute. So we'll do that on the way. In the potion house. Have you found anything yet? No. 
what are you all doing? Auntie Helen, have you seen any suspicious packages around here? No, I don't recall anything like that. Zeke was the last person to come in. Another big hit right there! Let's find him. And if Zeke doesn't have it? What if I dropped it while I was walking? That was good thinking, I like it. Let's split up. Dean and I will look on the road. So we can find Zeke and get more clues. There's no time to lose. Alright. I'm gonna just go make that potion instead though. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's fine. I have all the time in the world to do it. Ooh, this potion might be difficult, actually. I might need to plan this one out a little. Instead of just going ham, like I normally do. I need a very specific shape. What will give me that shape? Acorn well. I also need more sap. Okay. Well, as far as sap goes, we have one that's literally asking for sap. So where do we get sweet tasting sap? Okay, so this is the one, so we can just do the barren wasteland for it, because sweet. Oh, and then sour, where do you get sour at? What's that noise, Sue Boy? Okay. Okay, so they're both at the ice area, so I'll just go there. Sweet is the more rare one here. Mm hmm. We got sour. I have so much wood in this game because we keep needing sap, but we don't need any of the like, uh, stone stuff. I can get the nut I needed. There we go. Let's see, uh, I'm totally worried about my health here. Mm hmm. I might have missed an area up top. I'll go check over there. Yeah, there's a couple trees. Alright. Alright, I don't want to go to an even easier area, so I'm just going to go here. 
collect sap here too. Close the sizzle. This will help me get some more sweet as well. There we go. Casual deforestation. Not a problem for us. Definitely not. It's okay, they'll be back in the morning. We don't run out of trees here. We have enough sweet uh, sap. I'm trying to gather more just so I have it. Just so my crafting is easier. Okay. I don't really care about the mobs, so I'm just gonna avoid them. Alright, that should be good. Let's go ahead and go craft that potion. I don't want to use that one. So I use that. And then... That. Then... I don't remember. I do not remember. Oh. Right, and we have the acorn here. And then we have three sap, not that one. Purple's fine. Ugh, I... But that isn't that the one we needed? Yeah, but I'll just use it anyway. We'll get what we need later. It's only two. What kind of potions? We made a clear potion. So, we're gonna give that one tomorrow. There we go. And then I need sour tasting sap, which is... I think the basic trees here? Yeah. I don't need those ones. Just our basic sander trees. There you go. Go ahead and finish you off. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and find Rainer. Can't get to him right now. Let's see if we can get to Zeke right now. Nope. Let me get to Cecilia right now. I see why I just like glitched out. There we go. You were glitched. Okay, so at 12, we have going out for to Mercy's place. Are you sure you want to do this, sister? Of course, Victor. This is our tradition. We can't not do it. I'll help, sister. I will. Oh, 
hello. How long have you been standing there? Well, uh, it's nothing really. It's about the church's anniversary. We used to celebrate the anniversary every year. And it's coming soon. Victor. Sister Cecilia used to cook something for the anniversary. And we'd share it with everyone. In town. Alright, that's enough, you two. Russo's right, chemist. I want to make something special for the anniversary this year. But it seems like the rangers are short on supplies. So I was thinking I might make a different recipe. No. You want to help me make the recipe I'd planned? Oh dear, I don't want to be a burden. You already have so much to do. You, you don't mind helping me? Yeah, I can't wait to taste what you're planning to cook. Good, very good, in fact. <laughs> this chemist really is a kind-hearted soul. Well, alright, if you're sure it's okay. Celeste. Please let me know once you got everything, alright? May the gods bless you, chemist. Okay, otherwise we also need to talk to her. It looks like she's not actually here. Person. She moved while I was at her place. Thank goodness the cure is finally here. I hope I can sing well next time. You should come too. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming down on this beautiful morning. First of all, I'm sorry for the previous recital. It was uncalled for. Now, sing a song of our for our gods, asking for the blessing upon Moonbury. You, she did it. Thank you so much. Finally, I can get my voice out. Your potion worked. It's just warm water? But I felt better after I drank it. So, my voice was fine. It was all just because I was too nervous. I get scared that I'll mess things up during my performance. Well, performing in front of a lot of people really does make me nervous. I'm so happy it ended well. At first it was scary, but it feels so amazing after. I never thought something like that would work, but it helped me a lot. I've got to start believing myself more. Thank you again, Zui. May the gods bless you. I'm kind of surprised she wasn't, like, confused about the potion not having a flavor. It was just warm water, you know? several quests to do but getting close to full friendship with everyone we got everything great i'll fix the vase now all done and I guess you better learn to draw properly. I was talking about the drawing on the vase. It's a picture of your family, isn't it? Oh, it's Laura's family. My apologies. Here's the vase. Cute. Oh, 
Hello, Sui. A package? Yes, I found a package at the arcade center. I planned to hand it in at the police department, but Kips pinched it and then ran off. By the time I'd found her, the package was a total mess. All that's left of it is this box. I'm afraid something is missing. The package was heavier before. You can take the box. Oh no. Alright, we got a battle to do. Sleepy. Oh, I didn't change the scene. My bad. I'm sorry. I just kind of moved to Stream Raiders and then zoned out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Put this here. Oh, we need truffle for that. Where's Russo at? There's so much just running after people in this game. You got a new lead? Nice. Let's meet Dean in the park. We got the package, but the contents are missing. What was inside the box anyway? A pendant that Osman ordered. He said it was for his wife, Cassandra. I need to find it as soon as possible, or Osman will be mad. He has it. Russo, what's going on? Uh, nothing? Maybe we should check some other places? Oh wait, it's getting late. Sister Cecilia will be looking for me. Bye! That was suspicious. Let's follow him, Suey. Alright, Russo, what have you got there? Is that the pendant we were talking about earlier? Uh, I can explain. I found it before I started helping you out. It looks so good, I wanted to give it to Laura. I didn't know that it was the missing package. Well, at least we found the pendant. Thanks to Detective Russo. Right, Suey? That's right. It was elementary. I'm ready for another case if you need me. I'll think about it. <laughs> Cute. Ooh, we got moon clothes for that too. Great, we need to go to Laura. Oh, you fixed the vase. Thank you, Suey. I'll give it to Mama and Papa right away. How many times have I told you that I'm not in the mood to eat? You won't get better if you don't maintain your strength and energy. Just put it on the table for later. Oh, 
Papa, Papa. Look what I've got. Yes, dear? Give me a minute, Laura. I'm talking to you, Mom. This old vase, do you remember, Garrett? Of course, that was when Laura tried to imitate me when she was a baby. Yes, instead of drawing on paper, she drew on the vase. That's right, it makes me happy to see Papa and Mama laughing together. But when Mama and Papa fight, it makes me sad. Oh, poor thing. Can you please promise you won't fight again? Oh, my dear, of course, I promise. Of course, my dear, we'll never fight again. That's a mother's promise. Mercy, please forgive me for being so stubborn. Apology accepted, dear, and I apologize for being too hard on you, too. Suey, I didn't know you were here. Is there anything you need? Actually, Suey, help me fix the vase. Oh, really? Then you should join us for dinner sometime. That's cute. Wait. I meant so thank you. Please accept this for helping me and my family. Move gloves. Probably. Oh, I got another cutscene. Oh no, I don't. It's probably the same one. Oh, berry pancakes! How cute! Alright. We have a quest in here, or we're supposed to. Oh, it's not noon yet. Okay. Where is Truffles at? <laughs> My apologies. I think Truffles were from the cold area. I'm looking for dig spots for Sue Boy. We can dig up some up, dig up some truffles for us. No, no, no! You gotta get truffle, not treasure. Treasure? No, truffle. There are not very many dig spots out here. Truffle. Did you pour me water too? Thank you, Sue Boy. Boy spoils me. Okay. What is this, soup boy? Yeah, that is truffles. Okay. Truffle. Truffle. Alright, soup boy, here's some juicy meat. Now we can go to the farmhouse. And find treasure? Okay, it's ready. Here you go. Get well taught. Oh, just in time, Suey. Come and have a taste, too. Not this pie again. Mama, can you have something different once in a while? What's wrong, Laura? Didn't you like it? It's not that. It's just we've been having this almost every day. I'm getting tired of it. Laura, don't say that. I thought you said you loved the pie. 
eat it. I'm going to play outside instead. I want to wait. Maybe I should make a different dish for them. Lori's really picky when it comes to food. Oh, I do have another recipe, but I've never made it because ingredients are hard to find. Oh, you'd like to help me find them? Sure. That'd be really helpful. Got my stomach relying on you for this. When you collected them, please tell me right away. Thank you. Please speak to me once you collected them all. Oh, it's just snowberries. That's easy. Snowberries. Oh boy. not have five do we only have four because that'd be tragic take the loots yeah there's only four wait wait, wait did i get this one yeah <laughs> oh god hey that lasted quite a while all right, then we'll go sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it lasted you a long time too, boy. Mm -hmm. Hello, Meyer's expecting you. There's something he'd like you to see. Follow me. Ooh, are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get the end scene? We got to the final credits! Isn't it superb? We all gathered here for a ceremony to celebrate the restoration of our town square statue. We all agreed we want to give the statue a new look. So we tried to come up with a new design for the old statue. We have a moon which symbolizes Moonbury and its people. And then a flower which represents our local flora. And finally the hand protecting the two of them which symbolizes you, chemist. No Van Hannah came up with the design. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, of course, it was my idea after all. To see little Suey grow up so fast, I might actually cry. Colin, you'd promise me you'd keep your mouth shut. But you agree with me, don't you? I do. You've done a really splendid job to achieve all you've done. Placing you here was an excellent decision, wasn't it? You've not only proven yourself a truly excellent chemist, you've also won the villagers' hearts and cleared up a long-held misunderstanding. On that note, I hereby present you with this potion permit. Oh, they said the name of the game! Time to roll! <laughs> I knew you could do it, Suey. Didn't think you had it in ya. Nice job, matey. Congratulations. You've done a great job, Suey. Thank you for being part of Moonbury, Suey. Now, let oh. Time flies by. The six month gifted still running at non zero zero eggs at pod three. Oh, yeah, you're right at the six months. Thank you for continuing it. I mean, you don't really get to choose, but you know, the sentiment's still there. <laughs> Let's work together hand in hand, helping each other, and make Moonbury an even better place to live. And there it is! The title screen! Well, not title, the credits! Which we spent a ridiculous amount of time getting to, for no real reason. 
Besides, it makes me happy to get to it. <laughs> She's helping him in his garden. Look at the little kids, we'll see castle. Here we go. They're all doing their normal stuff. See the boat repaired. Oh, no, we won't. Interesting. Are they kind of showing who, what romant, like what romanceable characters would end up with who? Is that what they're doing right now? Oh no. Oh, it shows some painting. Look at that, the town's all interacting and happy. The clinic is still as dilapidated as could be, but it doesn't matter. deliveries is it gonna show us like leaving the town or does it just continue from right oh. here oh it just continues that's kind of Luster. <laughs> All right, we have completed this game. I think I'm gonna end here since I am still recovering. That way we can do a full proper stream tomorrow. And yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do my best to remember to run the battle as well. Um, Oh, let's go ahead and see who we can raid because it's like way earlier than I normally end. So, uh, let's see here. That person, but I don't want potionomic spoilers. But I feel bad reading Rawl again because I rated him really recently. But at the same time, I don't nor I normally end after he does, so I might as well take the chance I have, you know.
Yeah. Plus, if I raid him, it will give him a chance to talk about the streamer server. So, two birds with one stone, right? Anyway, guys. I'm going to end here. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I know it was kind of a weird short one, but I'm just feeling under the weather today, and that's how it goes. So, yeah. Um, if you're new here, make sure you follow. There's no follow notification. Um, the person who just did it actually reminded me <laughs> to say something. Um, but there's no follow notification, so don't feel like you're going to get called out or anything. I only call you out if you, like purposely ask to be called out you know um then I have a twitter that I sometimes post to I'm not great at doing twitter to be completely honest but it's a great way to track when I go live I have a discord where you can find everything happening suey wise so I highly recommend joining that and then I have a youtube that I post to four days a week with youtube exclusive content and right now we are playing through before the storm so that's Life is Strange Before the Storm and The Wandering Village. Um, so. <laughs> Spy, thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. I, here's the read messages for you guys. And I will be back tomorrow where we will be playing some Project Zomboid. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, I'll see all you later. Let me go ahead and get this raid started. Thank you for being lovely beans. Night-night!